it's just a little perch color i call this a perch color but it's a three to five foot that fancy i'm gonna try this real quick yo yo so i end up uh losing my uh sim card to my other camera so i got to record off the iphone but i'm on the way to catch a bass or six or seven i got some new baits so i'm gonna show y'all whenever we get out here but i feel like catching a, a big bass today so that's what we're gonna try to do we're gonna see if we can't catch us a big bass it's cloudy right now it's cloudy but we about to arrive at the pond and I'm gonna show y'all. Well, we're gonna try to catch a bass. I can't guarantee it today because I'm trying some new baits, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. It's three big bass right here. It's a bed. It's like a four pounder right here, dude. It's right there, right under that grass mat right there. They're chasing it. trigger that bite. I seen him bite that. I seen him bite that. <laughs> yeah, I seen him bite that. Ah, oh, I seen him bite that. That's a nice two pounder. Yeah, he's on. She's on bed. She's bleeding through the tail. I seen the bite. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I got these uh, shades on, and uh, I'm gonna try to release. Oh, it's another one. I'm gonna try to release it right there, close. Let me see if I can get another bite. Let me see if I can get this bass right here in front of me to bite. All these bass are on bed right now. He's guarding his bed. I think that's the buck bass right there. I just scared them all jerking it. Let's see. I seen that bite though, that was cool. No, 
whatever can trigger that bite. Cause a bass really will follow your bait and not bite. You got to trigger that bite. So you got to do things out of the ordinary. Jerk it, pause it, stop it. Any anything out the ordinary instead of just constant reel. Try to do something different. See what works best for you. I'm not saying what works for me gonna work for you or work in your state. But a largemouth bass is a largemouth bass. That's all I can say. There you go. I told you. On the pause. On the pause. As soon as I start reeling. As soon as I start reeling again, he smoked it. Little one pound fish. I'm telling y'all, man. Just had that conversation. On the pause. It works. Living proof. Living proof. I seen all the fish, like the little bluegill and stuff, start scattering. I was wondering, like, you know, what's going on here now? They were just getting out of the way for Big Boy to come through and, and smoke, and smoke that thing. Brand new crankbait fresh out the box. And I done caught two bass on it so far. Good deal. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Let's see if we can get three. Down below, down below. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just had a tap. There you go. There we go. Number three, baby. It's number three, baby. He must have missed it and came back for it. Cause I felt the tap. That's number three. Little dink. Yes, sir. They loving this chat. Um it's crank. <laughs> mm 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I ain't hear that. Yeah, let me get back to fishing. I'm going to call you later on tonight. All right. Yeah, uh, y'all seen that small one. I don't even I don't even know how he could have fit his mouth around the around the uh, around the hook. That been a little juvie now. Soon as I paused it, he hit it though. Hey. That mean the baby bass like it too. You know the grown ones gonna like it. Oh, he hit it, but he only got that bass right there only had got um grass in him out. Let me try this out now. I feel like it's a big bass around here somewhere. I'm missing out on that bite, messing with them small ones. Catching them small ones on accident. Man, yeah, I don't, what that is, three? I hooked on the number four. And he wasn't nothing to count anyway though. Come on, smoke it, baby. Smokeology. Oh, I'm looking at a bass right under me. He just went in that drain. <laughs> Y'all seen that? <laughs> That's this is not the fish that I seen. By the way, it's a bigger one in there. That's number five, I think. Yeah, five or six. I'm starting to lose count. Look, I'm going to see if I can catch a bass like this. That's pretty much what I did the first time, just now. It's a big one in there. I'm gonna stop messing around and catch me a 10 pound bass. Catch me that big 10 pounder. You won't regret. It. Here's another one. I'm telling y'all, they loving this crank today.
This dink city, man, but hey, at least I'm catching some fish. I caught some good ones, but now I'm catching dinks. Bye bye. Two back to back, let's see. So what I like to do when I'm throwing my crank, instead of like saying like, okay, I got to pause it right here. I just take my hand off the reel for like a split second. Just like that. I do like that. Let the bass catch up. Start reeling again. Once that bass catch up to it and then it start running again, he can't stand it. He gonna, he's gonna bite. Whether it's a 10 pounder or two ounce, he can't stand it. It's in their nature. Oh, it's a bass dying right there. Or they breeding. It's a big bass though. Holy, no, it wasn't dying. I think it was breeding. Yo, that been like a five pounder. Oh, I hope y'all could see that. Y'all probably did. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to see. Oh, oh, he just bit it. No, <laughs> he bit it. He just bit it. I swear he did. I seen his mouth open. Oh, I see a bed now. The sun is shining, so now I see the bed that they're on. I'm probably gonna catch a fish in the next few casts. I'd say next three or four casts, watch. They probably went to the left. You know, are we on the edge of the bed? All type of stuff. You got to try different things. See what works best for you. Oh. oh, he got off. Dang it. That was number what, eight? <laughs> Y'all seen it though. Y'all can't say it wasn't. Y'all seen him? Sh I told you. I told you. He was gonna sh sh smoke him. Smoke him. Bass on fire today in this phone. It's either the bass are on fire or I'm on fire. What y'all think? Comment below. Y'all think I'm on fire or the bass on fire? Let me know what you think. All right, let me see if I can catch one more close to this. Uh, I want to catch one right here because all the big ones kind of hang out right here somewhere. So I kind of want to just kind of like keep trying over here close to this gazebo.
Oh snap. Oh my drag was too loose. Come on. I tightened it at the last minute. The hook set wasn't as good though. No worries. All right, I got my drag uh, tight to the fullest, so if I hook onto a big one, oh well. I have to loosen it. I can't afford to let that happen again. I just got followed. I'm looking at the bag. <laughs> Look at my crankbait right there. That was a nice fish. <sighs> I got to go in there and get it. I got to go in there and get it. <laughs> what else? So, always said that happened to me every time. I don't know why. Dang it, y'all. Oh, well, here it is. y'all so I'm soaked I had to go get this thing man it was killing the day but um that wind blowing man and it's cold so I got to end this video I guess I just lost the hog I guess I just lost the hog that I was looking for but uh That's the way it goes sometimes, man. I'm drifting right now. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to J Cameron Outdoors, but I gotta go and take a shower and, you know, <laughs> relax. Well, not relax, but I got to get into some dry clothes. So until next time, peace out.